Let's see. Slowly starting to remember. Slowly. Clock window. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Go to the other side. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Go look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I, dun, dun. I'm wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What? Do you see? Uh oh. Oh, I thought the game messed up on me there. That was weird. Is there anything I have here? No. Ah, we're in the background there. Be? I think it is. What? It's me and you, the other you. Chris Scott and you. But how? Michael? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I? Am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. Wow. We've hardcore. worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Well, that went well. Well, it's starting to come back to him, everything. So, that's good. But he doesn't want to really believe it. Back home. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Death! It's 
passed out drunk. the tape. Son, I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Yep. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. <laughs> Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. You've been watching too much Miami Vice, son. What <laughs> evidence do you have that I was attacked? Well, that nasty lump on your head for one thing. And... And all right, the bat. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No, no. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? Whoever made off with your tapes, I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley? They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who's been making trouble for you since, like, forever? Biff! Biff! Ever since the Browns took an interest in him back in the 50s, he hasn't caused me a lick of trouble. Besides... Thanks to the Citizen Plus program, he's as gentle as a kitten these days. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Start grilling people. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... And what if this mugger comes back? Another bang on the head might do you in. You said you needed the tapes. Uh... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Hmm, let's check out the screens. The monitor's dead. The monitor's dead. Really? The monitor's dead. Why does it just keep saying the monitor is dead? The monitor's dead. God. Whoops. VCR. What? Wasn't that just broken? Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Uh. What about this one? The monitor's dead. Oh, they're all dead? Look at the VCR. Nothing? Still? Is there one watching us? No? Are these all dead? The monitor's dead. The monitor's dead. It's a VCR. Oh, 
Wait, uh, never mind. Oh, way to go, Marty. I don't think this monitor is hooked up to the camera. Okay. It's not working. It's not working. Oh my gosh. It's not working. Alright, exit this then. Are there any... Floppy disks? Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. The monitor's dead. Where's it? Ugh. Um... The monitor's dead. It's not working. They're all dead except for one? The monitor's dead. How are they all dead? They're... What did this person do to them? The monitor's dead. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy from this. I don't think this monitor is hooked up to the camera. Okay. So I can't get any of these working. Huh. What the balls? Monitors, monitors. Uh, let's use a hint. There's just one last thing you have to convince George. Oh. Alright. Read him and weep. He merits, but it's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his hill valleys just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait. I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes, to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. <laughs> Didn't he have something to do with 